Hi Francesco. Hi, welcome to my toy room. How are you today? Good. What are we going to play with today? Hey guys, we're doing a science experiment, a kitchen science experiment. This one is a chemistry one. It's from STEM Learning. Wow, that looks pretty cool, Francesco. Right, do you want to open up the box and take everything out? Yep, let's take it out. Oh, it comes with stickers, of course. Comes with some stickers. Wow, we'll have a look what they're for. And it comes with an experiment book with lots of different experiments to do. A test tube rack. A piece of foam. I want the foam and a little dish. For the fruit to go in. No, that's, I think that's for the experiment to be done in. And look how long this thing is. And that's a dropper. Yep. Look how long it is. Yep, that's pretty cool. Okay, what else is in the box? Um, a big box brush. It's got a brush. Oh, I think I know what that one's for. Yep. Next, what else is in the box, Francesco? A purple stirring stick, yep. What else is in the box, Francesco? They're special test tubes, guys. Where do the test tubes go, Francesco? In the test tube rack, that's correct. Okay. And how many test tubes are there? Three test tubes, guys. Okay, should we do the experiment? Yep. Okay, let's do some experiments. Okay, here I come. We're going to do some experiments. I'm wow, welcome to Francesco's toy room. I'm and gonna... we're going to do some experiments today. I'm we're gonna... going to do a couple of experiments. We'll do maybe two or three experiments. So, let's open the book and let's go to experiment number one. Now, I'm going to put photos of the experiment pages up so that you can actually see what the experiment pages look like. Um, so, we'll do the first one. The first one says, uh, guess what will happen when you squeeze half a lemon into a glass of milk and stir well? What do you think's going to happen, guys? I'm going to go get the milk. You have a think about what's going to happen. And then, when I get back, we're going to do the experiment. Also, don't forget to hit, hit the like button. Click on the subscribe button. Pop your comments down below. Tell us what you want to see on Francesco's toy room, and we'll do our best to do it all for you. Okay? I'm going to go get the things to experiment. Be right back. Daddy. Okay, here we go. Now, what we need to do Can I... is we need to put some milk. There's the milk. Can I put it in? Yep, you can pour it in carefully into there. One, two, three, go. Wow. Pour it in, come on, hurry, pour it in. Don't get one, spill it. Okay. okay. Right, milk's right. gone in. Yep. Lemon now. We need to squeeze the lemon into the milk. And then I'm going to get Francesco to stir it, and we're going to see what happens, guys. Yep. Okay, so in goes the lemon juice. Wow, look at it go. Here goes the lemon into the lemon juice. I yeah. I'm going to stir Okay, stir, stir, stir. Oh, something's happening. What's happening to the lemon juice? Do you see what's happening? Yeah, it looks like it's turning into apple juice. No, it's not turning into apple juice. Yeah. What it's actually doing is that the lemon juice makes the milk coagulate. Coagulate means it makes it go like it's it's off. It, it, it makes it um it, it takes all the, the the cream in the milk and it makes it all stick together, which makes it um, more look like a cheese rather than a milk. And I'm going to come up to the camera nice and close with this, so you can actually see. So, you can see that the milk has coagulated. You can see there in the bottom there? You can see how the milk's coagulated in the bottom? Dad, can I mix it? So you can see it's gone off. The milk has gone off, it coagulates. Okay, what's this one? Right. So now, we know what happens when you put lemon juice into milk. Daddy, now, 
Let's do another experiment, which is acid lemon test number two. Now, with the acid lemon test number two, we need some lemon and we need the foam pad. So what we're going to do is on the foam pad, it says to put a bit of the, the lemon on the actual pad. And we're gonna see what happens. Oh so, no, it's, it's floating everywhere. So what do you think? Does, it, does the pad become yellow? Does it let out bubbles? Or does it dissolve the actual pad of the actual lemon? So what do you think it actually does? Can I taste it? Mmm! Lemon. I taste it too. Right. So guys, what do you think happens? So it's the pad of the, 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 the actual pad of the of the of the of the skin of what we want. We want the skin of the lemon to go on there. And you can see what's happening. It's actually dissolving the actual the, the actual foam pad. It actually makes it go down like a deep impression. Have a look, guys. You can see there it's actually dissolving it a little bit. I'm going to clean it. I'm cleaning up the mess. Right. So, now we know what happens when you put lemon on foam pad. It actually makes it dissolve a little bit. So that's experiment number two. Experiment number three. What's like the sticking? Experiment number three is chemistry of copper. So we need a copper coin, guys, which I've got one in my pocket. Can I put it in? A copper coin. Can I put it in? No, we're not putting it in. We have to do something with it. So we pop a coin, we pop it on the table, and we need a cotton bud and we need some lemon juice so we put a drop of lemon juice on the copper coin Whoa, look at that. and what we do is we get the cotton bud and we rub it on the coin it looks like it's being and we rub and rub and rub and let's see what happens after we've rubbed for a little bit I love cotton look at the copper it's turning green on the cotton bud so, we rub and rub and rub. Uh oh, you have to put gears inside your head. And what it's doing is it's taking all the dirt off the copper coin. We'll put a little bit more juice on there and we'll get it to come out really clean, guys. You can't the milk the copper coin. We're rubbing. You can't the milk the green. Rubbing the copper coin, guys. Be careful not to break. I'm going to show you what it looked like before and after, so you can Be see the big difference. Be careful not to break the bubbles. Yeah, you've got to be careful not to break the plastic test tube bottles, otherwise we can't do any experiments. So I'm going to show you a before and after of this, guys. Have a look at this. So you have a look. It's coming cleaner. Can I? Can I take this? Yummy. What's the lemon juice taste like, Francesco? Tastes like sour. Tastes like sour. So, I'm going to come over there, guys, and I'm going to show you the before and the after. Look how green it is. Okay, you can see with the cotton bud, the green of the copper has come off the brass yeah. or the copper. This is what the coin used to look like before, and now. This is what the coin looks like after. You can see it's a lot cleaner. Much, 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 much cleaner, guys. So there you go. When you put lemon on a copper coin, it becomes cleaner. That's because the acid in the lemon oxidizes the copper and removes all the copper from there. That's fantastic, guys. Okay, so that's our experiment for today, guys. So, Francesca, what do you want to say to your friend? Thanks for coming to my toy room. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming to the toy room. Bye. Bye. Bye.